sure yet how long I need. Oh, there's the skill. That's nice. Shall I try single? So I can put glue on both the cutting mat and this. It will stick better. And I'm not sure yet if I need that yes or no. I might. I might. But if not, it's way simpler of course. I'll try cutting mat. put this inside it's kind of windy so spraying is gonna be fun it's even windier than like 10 seconds ago. Let it dry a bit and I'll try to hire the foil inside because it's too windy. So, I'm gonna do this inside aluminium to the bottom thing. I could plot two coils from this material, but it's not what I'm gonna do because uh, the second panel I might be using as a push-pull variant first, so we can see what that does, and afterwards I can um, mylar it or foil it with wire, so we can compare a foil panel with a wire panel, see what the differences are. Wiring is much simpler and has a few uh, more benefits as well as downsides, of course. No free lunch. I'm gonna do the Z axis. Just as with the cutter, except this time a plotter or a knife. Ow, that's rather stupid. Call this zero. The stuff became uh, quite warm in the sun, uh, and the downside of this uh, adhesive is that it loosens up if it's um, warm. So that might not be ideal. Let's see if we can cut it. And I know we can, but let's see if it works this time as well. You never know.
So, now, uh, the biggest thing. Well, you might be able to see, or you might see it after I remove the uh, excess material, that although it's a flat coil, the, f the coil is not as wide. Uh, oh, sorry, it's not as wide. The coil is not as wide uh, as you w might expect. So, in this case, difference between a wire and a flat coil, just like the Magnapan base <coughs> foil is almost a wire. I don't think the difference is that huge. If you make the thing wider, then it might be changing. So what they do with the top end, and I do as well. Um, so this remains to be seen if this is viable to use a flat coil instead of a wire. <coughs> if the panel was twice as high, to get the same impedance with this material, the coil would be a little wider than it is right now. So that might change stuff, but my CNC, as you might see, uh, is not twice as long as it is right now. <laughs> Does that sound uh, obvious? Now there are two ways of doing this. I can remove all the material, and then there's this sticky um, cutting map, where I could like try to get only the protection layer off and then roll on the mylar. I think I'll try that because if I fail, and that might well be, uh, then uh, maybe I can fit one here. No, it's not gonna work, but I'm gonna try anyway. So I'm gonna peel off the backing, I hope. Least. And then I hope it did cut all the way through, otherwise it's a really a massive fill. So the biggest part is not the coil that's going to end up on the foil. It's the small part. So I don't know if it cut all the way through the aluminium because it's quite thick. And I might have to uh, adjust the weight on my cutter on the blade. So these are the two connection points. And there's a strip on the side that... So if you connect, for instance, a positive here, goes all the way, blah, 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 ends up here, minus. Then I can choose to use this minus. It, it runs up and makes a tab here that if you use two panels, you can kind of connect it to this one again, so you can put them in series without using any wires. I thought that was a neat idea to try. I mean, I know it works, but never used it. I did try it once in the tweeter section and I uh, made a mistake. So like this, and then hopefully I can add the mylar. I would like to have it on a frame, but I don't. I'm just gonna use the roll and leave some, leave some excess material here so I can uh, use it in the jig, in the tensioning jig. It is nice that it is a bit sticky here. Now I hopefully can roll it out. Hmm. Move the cutter upwards. Because I want some excess material here as well to wrap around the jig. Now I'm gonna use the roller, I think. Do the same as we did before.
I can see this maybe not work. I'll explain. Because I'm not sure if I can attach it to this small tracer, so I might need to use a piece of paper or something. I know when I stretch it, it will get rid of the wrinkles, but if I used the tensioning frame, I would have had less wrinkles. This might have been a mistake. What happens if you try it differently? It might work out great. I learned something. It's a complete fail, and you've learned something. So now I need a knife to cut the end frame. Then I guess remove it and get rid of the excess material. It looks like a lot more steps than I used to do. So I'm not too sure about this method. Also, I have to cut it somewhere here, which might be hard on the wood. Well, it did cut. I hope it's enough. Now, let's see what's happening. Let's, what happens? This is kind of scary. Did I fuck up already? No, not yet. That didn't fuck it up, I don't know. Can't imagine it would. Here, real quick, see what's going on. So, this is excess material that needs to go. Although it did work, I'm not too sure if this is the, the way to go next time. So you can see it is it is all there. But 
Rad. I'd rather have this on a glass plate and uh, like roll over it once. You can see it has some burrs on the cut. I think people mentioned uh, increasing the speed, but uh, what I'm afraid of is if you increase the speed, it might not have the chance to sink in as much the knife and cut all the way through. So, might need to do like small tests to see how fast I can go, still cutting the whole thing and get rid of these burrs. Well anyhow I can uh, put this on a stretching jig and hopefully uh, be able to glue it to my frame which is dry by the way. Ugh. So that can go inside. 